Hi, today we'll be modeling a simple organic shape for 3D printing, a rounded cup in Rhino 3D. The same exact steps that I'm going to show you can be used to model anything from a wine glass to a thimble. The three basic commands I'm going to show you in this tutorial are curve, revolve, and cap. When you first open Rhino, you'll see these three panels here showing you the different perspectives from the top, from the front, from the right, and this 3D perspective here. I'm just going to close two of these to make it easier for us to see. The first tool we're going to look at is the Curve tool. It's here under the Curve tab. Control Point Curve, we're going to click on that right there. Control Point means we're going to set down a variety of points and our curve will be defined by those points. I'm going to go ahead and work in the front perspective, but you could also work in the perspective from the side. That'll keep all your points flat in one plane. Don't use this tool in the perspective window because your points will get all shifted from one another. So I'm going to start here in the front perspective, somewhere along this vertical green line, the Z axis. That's where I'm going to click my first point and I'm going to start tracing out the inside profile of my cup. You can see when I'm placing the points farther away from each other, I get a nice smooth gradual curve. And then if I place them closer together, I get a tighter turn. So there's the lip of my cup and here's the outside profile. And let's say that's good about there. So when you're done with your profile, just right click to finish your curve. One very important note, you have to finish at a point that's lower than the point at which you started. Otherwise it won't close to make a solid shape later. So there's our curve. Next, we're going to talk about the revolve tool. The revolve tool is going to make a surface for our cup. So it's going to be here under surface tools. Here's the revolve tool. To imagine how the revolve tool works, you have to think of our curve going around on a carousel, leaving a sheet of material as it goes around. So to use the revolve tool, we first have to tell the program what to revolve, then what to revolve it around. So first we're going to tell it that we want to revolve our curve. Click on the curve here and press enter. And that we want to revolve it around this vertical Z axis. So just click anywhere on the Z axis to make this line. And then push enter twice. Now you can see right away we've got a nice cup shape but the bottom has this giant hole in it. That's where our third tool comes in and we're going to cap to make this a solid item. The cap tool is going to be under the solid tools because it'll help us make a solid. So we click on solid tools and there's the cap planar holes tool. So to cap something, you simply just select the surface and push enter and Right away, you'll see that this hole has been closed up and we've got a nice solid shape. To use this for 3D printing, we're just going to select the shape we just made and export the selected shape. Save that file anywhere you want and make sure you're saving as an STL. That's the format that most 3D printing software is going to use. We're going to save that as an STL. We just click OK for this. And now you're ready to export your file to a 3D printer and hold your cup in your hands. Thanks for watching this basic Rhino tutorial about curves, revolving, and capping. If you want to see more tutorials about the basics of navigating Rhino, I've linked some of my favorite ones down in the description to get you started.